your skin, big bandage. Hi everyone, it's me again. I'm going to be sharing with you how I use the Banish Starter Kit. First thing is I'm going to wash my face with the All Clear Mint Cleanser from Banish. I love this stuff, it is so light and gentle. So let's get washed in the face. What I love about this cleanser is that it's so light and gentle and it's also super minty. So you can kind of see, I just work it through my palms and into my skin and you can see how light and gentle it is. And it foams slightly, but it doesn't foam like, it's not gonna like foam so much that it will dry out your skin. I'm not gonna go on my eyebrows or my eyes because I am wearing a little bit of eyeshadow. <laughs> Rinsing is super easy and the cleanser is so minty, which is really, really great. And you can also just take a washcloth and wash it off. Okay, there you go. So you can see my face, it's not tight, it's not like stiff. You know how some cleansers can make your skin really tight. Then I like to just spray a little bit of my Elixir. Just to like tone it up. And then I am going to start with my activated charcoal mask. I'm going to put this on my nose and I'm going to put the pumpkin enzyme mask along my jaw area. Especially during the time of the month, I get a lot of acne and a lot of breakouts here. So I'm going to just put it right here. So you can use the activated charcoal mask as a spot treatment or you can use it if you tend to break out all over the face. Right now, the jaw is really my problem. Whew, and it tingles so much because it has glycolic acid in there, which is gonna slough off all the dead skin cells. Then we're going to take the activated charcoal clay mask, and I'm gonna use it on my nose. You just like to pour it on the cap, that's easiest for me. And I like to mix it with my vitamin C beauty elixir. And I just put a few squirts on here, and then I just put it on my nose, especially around the corners, because I get really big pores there, and a lot of dirt and oil can stick on. Okay, so I'm gonna wait for like five, 10 minutes until the products dry up. The activated charcoal will be like a very light color and I'll kind of crack. And then the pumpkin enzyme mask will also be dried up as well. Sometimes I use the activated charcoal mask all over my entire face. I put a lot of it on and it really pulsates and pulls out all the stuff in my skin. But today I wanted to not do such an intense clay mask, so I'm just doing it like this. So while your mask is drying, this is the perfect time to clean your banisher. All you gotta do is fill up the alcohol to the fill line up here. It fits perfectly in the cap so it can clean. You can also put it upside down to clean and you're just gonna let that sit for a few minutes. All right, so the mask is nearly dry. You can see the difference in the color, so I'm just going to rinse it off. So you can see my skin, it just looks really clean. You can see my skin, it, I don't know, I feel like it's tight. Everything's like very, very tight. It's tight, but it's not drying, which I think is a difference, so. Very clean skin. I'm going to use the banisher on one side of my face because I'm going to use the banish stick on right after I use the banisher and uh, without using the banisher. So I'm gonna take my banisher off and tap off any of the excess alcohol on here. And I'm just going to focus right along here on my skin. So I'm going to focus on this. I just press it and let it go and rotate, press, let it go, rotate, press, let it go, rotate. Super, super fast, simple, easy, effective. And then I'm gonna go here, which on my cheeks. And this is so we can create those micro holes so you can build collagen in the skin. And then I like to do a little bit here because I feel like I'm getting lines here, so. All right, that's it. So I'm going to introduce how you're going to use your Banish stick and I will tell you guys the whole story of how this was developed. So I like to just clean my Banish stick. So just take a little bit of alcohol with a cotton pad and just rub it around here. And of course, this is authentic tigerite stone, so it's not going to like change in any way by putting alcohol on it. So the reason why I wanted to create a banish stick and using this is because after using the banish oil, I always felt like, how can I really get all of the goodness 
of the vitamin C into my skin. Traditionally, we would just take this, put a few drops on our skin and kind of soak it in, which you can do. So I'm gonna put some on my finger. And I like lots of oil because I'm all like, just put as much oil as you can on the skin. Okay, so you're gonna put that here. And this is good, I mean, this is definitely good. I can feel it going into the tiny little holes that the banisher made. But for that extra oomph and that extra push and healing powers in the skin, you can use the Banish Stick. It's kind of like the Gua Sha's, but this is actually very, very heavy in comparison to the Gua Sha's, and I feel like you have more control over it. So I just basically push the oil into the skin. So you need to use some kind of oil with this. You can use the Banish Oil, you can use the Vitamin C Cream, and you can use the Elixir too. You can mix and match kind of what you put. But you need to use some kind of natural oil or ingredient in here so it gives some, uh, so it can slide up to the skin. And what's so great is Tigrite has heal, it's like the healing stone. It kind of heals parts of your body and it's really good for healing, especially for bones and joints and skin. So I was like, oh my gosh. This is why we're gonna stick with Tigra. And Tigra is a very, very hard stone. It's super, super hard on like the stone hardness scale. And I wanted it hard because I was like, we need to push all of that good vitamin C into our skin. So let's get it as hard as possible. Woo! Oh my God, I feel it. Like, you know, like a deep tissue massage, how it, how things like, like kind of hurt a little bit, it kind of feels like that. What's so great about these stones and the whole science behind the gua sha is our body and our skeletal system and our skin kind of like has like mineral deposits in them. So if you think of like, you know, your bathroom, right? Over time, the hard water is gonna get kind of in the crevices of your bathroom bathtub and you have to really go out there and kind of scrub off those um, soap scum, the water, all that kind of stuff, right, in your bathroom. This is kind of what it is. We're trying to like get out all that gunk, all that congestion in our skin so that way our blood circulation can just be like a little bit better. That way, it's kind of like cleaning out like old pipes or something. Like you just wanna clear out all of that. And a lot of times our skin can get really congested and so it's really good to use a very, very hard stone like this to really kind of get all of that out. Let me show you how to use the elixir. Now, something what I really love is I love making my own concoctions. So you don't have to use purely the oil or the cream. You can mix and match. Some people think the oil is a little bit sticky, so you can take a little bit of the oil, you can take a dollop of the cream, and you can take some of the elixir. I don't know if you can see my hand. And then you're gonna mix it all in your palm together. Make sure your hands are clean. You're gonna just put it on your face and it's such, it's like almost like a massage oil. It's so relaxing and you get all of the benefits of all of the products in here. Okay, so you're gonna massage your face. My favorite part, um, I'm trying to get um, deep tissue massage every week. I try to get acupressure done because I feel like it's good for my stress level. <laughs> and because I work out so much, but this is also really important that we make sure we massage our skin too. And see, I didn't use the banisher on this side, but you can use it on days where you're not using the banisher. And I like this, you guys remember our pore smasher? I like this better than the pore smasher because you can use this with other products. The pore smasher you weren't able to. And sometimes people find grittiness in their face. If you find a place that's really gritty, I know for me, this area is kind of gritty, so you can kind of wiggle it and kind of smooth it out. So don't be afraid to like go through the grittiness. Like this is an area where I'm super congested and have a lot of grittiness. You really feel like your face, like you went through a deep tissue massage. It's really deep tissue acupressure or your face. And again, this tigerite stone and the way it's shaped is a lot harder than the jade rollers or the guasas you see out there because of how heavy it is. So it's also really good for anti-aging and collagen production too. I also have a mini jade roller. It's definitely not as heavy or strong as 
this is. Like you'll be able to see if you get any kind of jade roller and compare it with this. And again, it's really important. We always exercise our bodies. We always get massages on our bodies, but we really forget about the skin. And a lot of people have a lot of calcium, or sorry, deposits on their forehead. And here I'm just, this is where I have my acne scarring. So try to heal that up and iron it up. You can just incorporate this in your banish skincare routine. I do this once a week right after my banisher. Remember, we prick tiny little holes in our skin, we put really good ingredients into the skin, and now we're just making sure that they all sink in and that the blood circulation is going. Because you want to use the banish stick to circulate the blood and to kind of drain the face so that way your skin will further produce those new skin cells that is collagen induction therapy. Right, our face can get blocked, things can get crusty and deposited, so you just wanna make sure that everything's all smoothed out. Think of like having knots in your shoulder. You know, when you get a massage, you have knots, and you gotta smooth and press them out. out. Basically the same as this. Your skin cannot heal and reproduce itself and get new skin and new collagen if your skin, your face is all up in knots. <laughs> so you gotta smooth it out. Okay, and then what I do at the very end is I take my vitamin C beauty elixir, Oh my God, so good. I just like spray my face that way. It helps set everything in and it kind of, it will set all of the products in. And again, none of our products have alcohol in there so it's not gonna actually dry out your skin. Now, how to clean your gua sa. So how to clean this and you know, people can judge what you have it in here, how to clean and store this. So I would actually put it on my bathroom. I actually would put the sock down and then I would put the banish stick on top like this and just leave it on my bathroom counter. Now, I don't know what anyone else is thinking about how I use this, but you can let them use their imagination on what you actually use this tool for. That is how I would store it, or you can store it in the sock or you can just put it someplace where it's not gonna scratch, okay? I have been using and I've been loving. I've been seeing really, really great results. I mean, I'm not wearing any makeup on my face right now whatsoever. I have a ton of banish oil on, which is like why my face is so sweaty. But thank you all so much. Talk to you guys later. Bye.